Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. We talked about expensive uncommons that could be hiding in your bulk, but what about expensive common cards? Welcome back to my channel, I'm Matt Caster Mage, and I do make Magic the Gathering content every single day here on YouTube, so if you do enjoy my channel, please consider subscribing and joining in on all the fun we have here. Before I get into these comments, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be at the Face to Face Tour this Saturday in Toronto, so if you want to come say hi, I'll actually have a booth there, so I'll do a little bit of a meet and greet as well as play some games like Commander and a few draft events as well. Okay, let's get into these commons now. These commons are cards that range all the way from after the ABU era. So these are going to be cards played in Legacy, Popper, sometimes Standard, and even Modern decks. Some of the cards are going to be instantly recognizable, but some of them actually might shock you. So with that being said, let's jump into these commons. Starting our common list off here today with Priest of Titania, and this is the original printing from Urza's Saga. The current market price is $7.06 and its average price is $7.10. This card did see a few reprints like Commander 2014 sitting at $6.49, the Commander Anthology version sitting at $7.54, the FNM promo is the most expensive at $144.95, but it also saw a recent printing in the Mystery Boosters for $7. Now this card is seeing most of its play in the Popper format, a lot of play in Elves decks, Simic, Mardu, and even Mono Green in the Popper format as well. And the next card on our list here is Expedition Map, and this is the original printing of this card as well from Zendikar. This common is sitting at $2.36 right now for its market price, and its average price is $2.35. This card did see a lot of other printings of it, like Double Master sitting at $2.16, and the Modern Masters 2015 version at $2.39, and the most recent printing on the list for $2. This card is seeing a lot of modern play in Green Tron, Amulet Titan, Mono Black. It also sees Legacy play in lands as well as eight casts and artifact aggro but it sees a lot of plays well in popper and four color tron seat of the synod from mirrodin an artifact land on our list at two dollars and 32 cents for its market price right now and its average price is two dollars and 98 cents this card did see some other reprints like commander 2016 sitting at three dollars and 97 cents commander 2018 sitting at three dollars and 84 cents and even the plane chase version sitting at three dollars and 76 cents this card as well sees some legacy play in 8 cast decks as well as Tezzeret Control and Artifact Aggro, but it sees most of its play in the Popper format in Affinity decks as you can see right here. And the next expensive common is a burn spell, it is Lava Spike, and this is the original printing of this card from Champions of Kamigawa. The market price currently is $3.70 and its average price is $3.59. This card did see a few other reprints like Modern Masters sitting at $3.79, the Time Swallow Remastered version sitting at $4.42, and the Ultimate Masters reprint sitting at $3.96. This card does see most of its play in the modern format in decks like Mono Red, Red Prowess, as well as Burn and Red Deck Win but it also is seeing burn play in Legacy and Popper as well. The next expensive common card on our list is another red card, it is Pyroblast, and this is the original printing of this card as well from Ice Age. Its market price is $4.07, and its average price is $3.78. This card did see a lot of reprints like Eternal Masters, and that card is currently sitting at $4.85, and the 5th edition version sitting at $3.95 with the Signature Spellbook version, which is the most recent version of this card, and that card currently is sitting at $4.34. This common staple sees a lot of play in the Legacy format right now in Is It Delver decks as well as Is It Murktide, seeing a bit of vintage play in Hogak as well as Underworld Breach, but it also sees some popper play in Boros decks as well as Kiln Fiend and Rakdos. The next card is another popper staple, and this is the original printing of this card as well from Urza's Legacy, and it is Snap. This card is currently sitting at $4.87 for its market price, and its average price is $4.48. And this card didn't see a lot of reprints, at least not a meaningful reprint. It was printed in a dual decks, Mine vs. Might, as well as in the Mystery Boosters and the Secret Layer series, and that version is the most recent, but it's the most expensive at $14.93. 
This card is an absolute popper staple as you can see right here. It sees all of its play in the popper format in decks like Is It, Esper Control, Esper Mono Blue, Azorius, Is It Control, as well as Storm Combo. Next up on our list is Lotus Petal from Tempest. This is the original printing of this artifact and it is quite expensive, sitting at $16.37 for its market price and its average price is $17.99. This card also didn't really see any meaningful reprints at all. Actually, the only three versions of it besides this are from the Vault Exiled at $166.36, the Masterpiece version of this card from Kaladesh sitting at $469.40, and the most recent printing of it, which is a Mystery Booster version, which is not a meaningful reprint at all, and that card is currently sitting at $18.64. This card also sees most of its play in the Legacy format 8 cast decks as well as the Epic Storm, Black Red Reanimator, and Doomsday, but it does see some vintage play as well in Underworld Breach. Next expensive common is Stuff Out from Mercadian Mass. This is the original printing of this card as well and its current price is $5.27 for its market price and its average price is $5.73. And this card also didn't see any real meaningful reprint. It only has two other versions of it available and one is a dual decks anthology version sitting at $27.32 and another dual deck version Garouk vs Liliana and that card is sitting at $10.55. This card also is a popper staple seeing play in Demir decks as well as Demir Control, Demir Delver, Storm Combo and Golgari decks but it also sees some legacy play in Elves, Saltai, Delver and Aluren. Our final expensive common I wanted to talk about was Cabal Ritual, and this is the original printing of this card as well from Torment. Its market price currently is $8.28, its average price is $7.98, and this card didn't have any real meaningful reprints. In fact, there's only one other version of this card available, and that is from the Vault Lore, and that card is currently sitting at $13.66 right now. And this card is seeing most of its play in the Legacy format, All Spells, Storm, Doomsday, as well as Ad Nauseam Tendrils, but it also sees some vintage play in Storm Combo, and also in the Popper format in Demir decks. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's list. Let me know if there's any other commons that you know that are worth money that I should have added to the list. And I'll be sure to read that down in the comment section below. And let me know, would you like to see another video like this, but maybe expensive rares? that have never been reprinted before. That was a topic that I've also mulled over, but let me know if you'd like to see that down below also in the comment section. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.